Uh, we're talking with Cassandra Latin. She's the COO of Wisource HR and P- Payroll. We're talking with Marie Deary, founder of Wealth Management Financial uh, Wealth Management Financial Advisors Incorporated. And uh, we're taking your phone calls at 520-KJLH. Let's go to Linda from Cerritos. Good morning, Linda. Welcome. Good morning, Dominique. Thank you so much. And thank the guest, Marie, as well as Cassandra, for trying to help. I am definitely confused on many things as far as the COVID. Um, I own a janitorial service and Cerritos and most of our businesses are non-essential, so we're out of money, and we still have to pay our mortgages, our rent, our, our stuff, and there's no money. So um, when we try to, and I'm just confused. I'm, I'm trying to go on um, SBC, and it's just taking you from one link to another to another, and I'm trying, I try to call Marie, but your, your uh, voicemail is totally full, and so I'm going to try to call you again today. Um, and just confused on everything. So I do have the PP, whatever it is, with Wells Fargo, but their phone numbers aren't open. You can't even get into the banks. It's just so confusing. And I'm just trying to get guidance on where I can really go and get some, you know, get some, get some help. Okay. So Linda, I want you to stay on the phone right now and let's walk through a couple of your questions all right um let's see if we can at least get two or three out of those things that you just listed because i have a feeling that that list of frustrations could apply to a lot of others besides you so maybe we can help some other people while we help you okay thank you so much thank you um first of all marie i I think marie you got to call between like uh nine and five or nine and six that's the best time when you won't get the voicemail and you'll get a person but marie um and cassandra let's start unpacking what linda said she started with the sba website it sounded like she said she was clicking from one place to another and feeling like she was getting nowhere okay um cassandra you want to go ahead go ahead cassandra Um, Okay. Um, okay. The, the, starting with the SBA website and you, you're clicking and you feel like you're getting nowhere. What I would suggest that you do, you mentioned, I know that this may not be helpful for all of the other callers, but what I would suggest that you do is you go on the website for the Community Development Financial Institution. The Community Development Financial Institutions uh, has a listing. And a listing, and it also has an application on the actual page. In your situation, I, I believe your name was Linda. Was it Linda? Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. In your situation, Linda, I would just for immediate, because we are in real time, and this thing is very fluid. You said you're in Cerritos. For your situation, I would suggest that you contact a bank in Cerritos, which is certified to deliver these funds, according to the Community Development Financial Institution. It's... uh, it's, um, and if we go offline, I can provide you with the with the uh, at the address, the phone number, the name of the bank in Thrift, and they should be able to give you some help pretty quickly, or give you some information uh, pretty quickly to uh, f- for your immediate situation. So I okay. will. Um, at go ahead, end, Linda. I don't know how we want to. I don't know okay. how we want to do this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we, we'll figure that out. Many. Don't don't worry about it. We got you. Okay, so we, we will uh, get we'll get Linda's number off air and we'll pass it on to you. But let's do what we can on the air here. So, Linda, what were you saying? No, I just I'm just um, I do have a Wells Fargo and I have a Navy Federal as well because she said something about the um, it's going to the credit unions and I'm just trying to um, right. I She's, apply for the payroll paycheck protection program and they they said i'm i can um, apply for it 
but when I apply for it, there's no one to ask any questions to. And I see now that I have to have the the 2019, the, the um, Schedule C. So I'm trying to see if I can, um, I, I do have one for 2018. Okay, so a couple of things, a couple of things, I'm going to let you finish, but we got to catch these things because you're saying so much so fast. Okay. First of all, um, yeah, you, 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 if you need help with getting your paperwork ready as far as your taxes or whatever it might be worth calling marie again about that but as far as the um questions answered this is for marie and cassandra i mean other than asking them right now on this show uh that's a situation where someone like vermont's lawson um or, or prc might be able to help right where they can actually answer questions about the application before she submits it that is correct. That is correct. And Vermont Slauson is one of those certified organizations on this list, and they should be able to help her also with an application. Are you, Molly, familiar, are you familiar with Vermont Slauson uh, Economic Development Corporation, uh, Linda? Unfortunately, I, I live in Cerrito, so no. But, but you I can still call them. It, you, yeah, you don't yeah, have to. You don't have to be at Vermont and Slauson. <laughs> you can, no, you can I, still I'm call them. Familiar with it, yeah. Okay. Well, out. a lot of people aren't, but online it's vsedc.org vsedc.org org, and that's what they do is they help small businesses. So, and actually, we had uh, a, a representative on the show from. Um, Vermont Slauson, and they said that they will walk people through the application process, answer questions. You can call them. I don't have the number right handy. Let me look it up online. There's others too, it. right? Um, the um, what about the I PRC? The okay, cool. I'm, I'm um, okay, I got it. So, Cassandra, go ahead. You were you had a few more steps for her. Well, that's basically the steps. So Vermont Slots and EDC, uh, this, this, this uh, location in Cerritos, which is First Choice Bank, there are different things, there are different organizations that will walk you through and help you out. But the key is you have to have that tax paperwork in order or you will not qualify. You must be prepared because it's moving very quickly. Got it. I'm um, Cassandra. Got it. Um, we know that um, they're going to need their Schedule C. What other documents should they have? Should they have their 1099s? Because we're talking about businesses that do not have um, employees. Should they have their, their 1099 from 2019 ready to, um, to upload? Yes, they should have any 1099 from 2019 you can also if you don't have um your 1099 1099 should be already filed for 2019 but you can also pull up your 1099 and any payroll information 1099 would be considered payroll information for 2018 pull those documents together and make sure that you do a, a tiny blurb when you're going through these smaller organization so that they would uh, have a little background on your business so they can help you. They'll be able to walk you through and help you and kind of know what you need to do to navigate through these waters to get supported. How but about, one of the critical how, paths how about which I've been sharing rent, with the small companies that have been calling me sir. is you have to have your paperwork in order because it's, it's $30 billion or $60 billion, but it's moving so fast. And those that are not in order are going to have to get in order very quickly, particularly since it's already Monday. All right. And not because, but not because they open today, um, you feel that if you apply tomorrow, you're not going to get through. You need to get as much information and like your rent receipts, your um, if you've been paying, you know, your employees by check, your check your you know copies of your check check so you can you can upload all that information um to to the organization also dominic i wanted to mention that um nonprofit organizations are qualified to apply for some of these monies so i know that there are there are many small many nonprofits out there that can um that can use some help 
at this time. And the requirements, again, is basically the same thing that they need to have a Schedule C and so forth. All right. Uh, somehow we lost Linda. Linda, can you please call us back? We need to get your number so we can pass it on uh, to Cassandra. 520-KJLH, 520-5554. That's for everybody trying to get through. If you have a question or comment, conversation, you're trying to get yourself ready uh, to apply for this SBA loan. Now, um, Cassandra, you know, when they put together all this stuff, the 1099s, the, you know, their Schedule C, uh, the stuff that Marie is talking about, rental receipts, check, uh, proof of, of, of payment to their employees and such. Is th this is the same stuff that they're going to need for maybe, say, the city microloans or the state uh, business loan, small business loan program? In other words, by preparing for this SBA loan today uh, or in the next day or two, are they basically putting together the same packet that they'll need for any other help that's available to small businesses? That is correct. Any help that's available to small businesses, whether it's someone investing in you or whether it's a loan or whether it's a grant, you're going to need those particular documents. Um, and in addition to your own personal 1099, if you issue 1099s to, come to, to uh, folks who are doing work for you, you need to have those 1099s, copies of those 1099s also. Any 1099, whether it's your personal or whether it's one that you issued to um, another person who was doing work for you, those 1099s will also count um, in terms of trying to seek and qualify for these payroll protection funds. Right, because there there are other programs available, and I just want to be clear about that. I know the city of Los Angeles has microloans. I know that the city of Los of uh, Long Beach has their own program, um, yeah. and I know that the you know the Department of Go Biz they call it business.ca.gov has the uh, California loans on there. Um, the uh, small development of Long Beach is 562-938-5100, 562-938-5100. They have, uh, they have a listing of loans specific to the Long Beach area. So I just want to, I kind of want to put that out there because if you don't get the paycheck protection, there are other loans that you might qualify for. And by pulling all of this stuff together, you'll be ready. Right, Marie? Yes. You are, you are absolutely correct. The information that you use for, for this process, you're gonna, you, you will need it if you are, you are trying to get a loan from any other institution. And just remember that uh, a lot of the, the organizations that are getting this money, they are turning around and and issuing those and, and and loaning the money or giving you grants for the nonprofit organizations. They this their that money is being used for grants for smaller organizations. So don't don't sit there and think, oh, I'm a nonprofit, I cannot qualify for the, for for a grant or a loan which will be converted into a grant. You need to to get your organization out out there and and prepare the documents and submit the documents. We're going to go to Charles from 1-800-UNITE-US. Good morning, Charles. Yes, good morning. This is great information being shared. Appreciate it. Um, also, the SBA, they have grants, too, that do not have to be paid back. So you can go to the SBA uh, website and see if you, you might qualify for one. Well, the, isn't it true that the Paycheck Protection Act grants uh, loans become grants if you don't lay off your workers. Yeah, I think it's uh, you got to keep like actually 90%. that was that was for Marie. Yeah, but but uh, you can answer it. Is that correct, Marie? Work. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. If you keep your employees on the books for a certain for the for a certain amount of time, I think um, to to. July or something, and Cassandra, you can answer that um, more direct. Um, you do not have to to pay um, a certain portion of that money back. 
Yeah. In order for forgiveness, there's two things. You have um, you can have a loan forgiveness, a complete forgiveness of the loan, and uh, companies have, in order to get the complete forgiveness of the loan, which will turn it exact into a grant. Companies must keep their workers on their payroll for eight weeks period after the loan is granted, and the business can only use the loan for the other costs that uh, for rent, so 25% for your rent and for your utilities, because utilities will count against this particular loan. Uh, the second thing that happens is the loan reduction. It may be reduced depending on how the businesses use the money. If your staff counts are reduced or your salaries for employees who earn less than a certain amount of money are reduced, you may get a reduction on the amount that you have to pay back. So there are, of course, you have to, the keys for the forgiveness or the reduction is you have to ask for it. It doesn't automatically um, reduce or forgive. You have to ask for it. You have to ask for it in writing, and you have to prove that you met these qualifications, and it would become a grant. That's important to know. 5.45 in the morning. We're, we're going to do this all the way up till 6 o'clock when Steve Harvey grabs the microphone and does his thing, the strawberry letter and all that good stuff. A day Lamar will be here. But until then, it is you, me, uh, Marie Deary of Wealth Management uh, Financial Advisors and Cassandra Latin, COO of Wise Source HR and Payroll, getting ready for SBA loans launching, relaunching today. 520-KJLH, 520-5554. Or Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. Talking with Cassandra Latin, CEO of Wise Source HR and Payroll. Anne Marie Deary, founder of Wealth Management Financial Advisors Incorporated. We're talking about these SBA loans, the so-called paycheck protection loans that ran out of money. It is back up online today. And uh, it starts, I guess, applications start at 730 this morning. You want to get in line as soon as you can. Uh, let's go to Rosie Milligan calling us from L.A. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I just want to say, Dominique, it's, it does seem to be a lot of confusion with the information that we're getting uh, out here about the money. Now, I think one thing that needs to be cleared up, because a lot of people haven't done their paperwork for 2019, and I know the tax uh, date have been extended, and a lot of people probably can't get into their accountant office. So if 18 is sufficient, I think that will be good information because a lot of people feel like they can't even do it because they haven't gotten the 2019 and the banks are not responding. If you can't go online or get, get your kids, they can help you. Get somebody to help you online. The banks are not going to let people be flopping in and trying to help them. They are not helping people. And the other thing is the economic uh, uh, injuries this after long, they're checking credit. I know a person they turned down because of his credit. And one guy they told, a physician, they told him that he had a high line of credit. He could use that money. They're doing crazy stuff out here, Dominique. Not at all surprised by that. Uh, Marie, you want to respond to that? Um, Rosie Milligan saying, well, can they just use their 2018s if they can't get in to see a tax advisor? Let's start with that. She said a lot of different things, but well, let's start with that. Well, the, well, the banks are asking for um, 2019. And if you do not have your 2019, they are requesting a P&L. Um, so, so they are which is a profit the, loss statement. Profit, profit and loss statement. And so, if you don't have your 19, I recommend that you get your 19 done. If if you cannot get your 19 done, you have to sit down and you have to get a P&L done. You can do it yourself or you can get someone to help you to do it. But you need to get that information. Got it. Um, for the admin loan, um, again, that I, I've heard. I've heard some people, um, uh, 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 FICA score um, is required. They will run your credit. 
um, you know, it, it, the banks are, some banks are creating their own guidelines. I know Bank of America is, requ- is requiring your, um, your 2019, if you don't have the 19, um, they're going to go back to the last quarter of 2018. And they, they also want, if you, if you have okay. employees, they they will request the the nine the okay 10, Marie we're we're right at the end of the show here so I I, I need you to give me the condensed um, answers but uh, you're open for business right I mean uh, Dr Milligan is saying well people are not able to go to their tax preparer there are some tax preparers that are working right now that are working online. I am- Go I ahead. am working 24 hours. My office is open because, like I said, I am devoted to this. I am I am there to answer any questions um, a, a client, a potential client may have. And they can reach me on 562-427-8877. My office will be open at, te- at 9 this morning. So... You know, call me. I can I, I can get that schedule C together for you. Okay. Um, just call me. And Cassandra Latin, I don't know if you heard everything Rosie Milligan said. She said there's a lot of confusion out there. Um, what what would you, I mean, right now we're, it's almost 6 o'clock at 7.30. This application process reopens for SBA. Let's uh, kind of recap a couple of the things you said right at the beginning that cut through some of this confusion that uh, Rosie Milligan is talking about. And what would you suggest for people that are feeling confused and overwhelmed? What I, the number one thing that I would suggest is that you get your stuff in order as quickly as possible. If you are a, a, an independent and you don't have any payroll, you're going to have to get your 1099, your schedule C, your rent receipts, your utility bills. You're going to have to pull it together. Whether you filed your stuff or not, you still, you should have those documents because the, whoever gave, provided those documents for you, they were already due back in January, February, March. And so those documents are done. They happen before the coronavirus. You have the docs. Um, if you are payroll, then you need your payroll registers from January 2019 to December 2019, your W-2s, your rent receipts, and your utility bills. That's the first thing that you need to do is to be prepared. So once you get prepared, then you can go forward Talk to some of these community um, organizations that are going to be provided to you from KJLH. You can contact my office. Our office is open from 8.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, and the number is 562-548-2478. Um, we'll kind of guide you through and do what the best that we can to get you ready so that you can pro- look out and try to obtain these loans. If you are unsuccessful in a PPP loan, do not be discouraged. As Dominique said, there are other resources out here. If this virus just got you to get yourself in order so that you can go for longer term, easier to access resources, then you are in a good place. Thank you, guys. All right, and your number again is 562-548-2478. Of course, we'll have uh, both Marie and Cassandra's information listed at kjlhradio.com. Um, is You know, Marie says some of the banks are making their own uh, guidelines. Uh, Rosie Milligan said a lot of these banks are just not helping people. So I guess if you're not the preferred customer, is that why you suggested people look at the community development financial financial institutions on the SBA uh, website? Cassandra? I, I suggested looking at the community development financial institutions because money was specifically set aside and they are directed to get those funds into the hands of small businesses. SBA guaranteed loans through large banks. The banks have always set their own guidelines. 
and the SBA guarantees the loan. They're not a direct lender. They guaranteed the loan, and the bank set the guideline. If you qualify, the SBA would guarantee. That's the same situation. In this situation with the Community Development Financial Institute, you know, such as Vermont Slauson, uh, the USC Credit Union, there are different Pace Financial. Those companies have been, the money has been directed to them with All guidelines right. to get this money out to small businesses. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, folks, I, I really suggest you go to kjlhradio.com. We're going to have a lot of this stuff listed, and you can pull together these emails and these websites. Or you can call Cassandra, 562-548-2478, or Marie, 562-427-8877, or all of the above. Ladies, thank you so much for all this great information. Thank you, thank Dominique. Thank you, Dominique. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, and you as well. And the thing is, we got to play to win. I mean, we got to play to win. So let's get in line. Family, as you go on your way about your day, let's take a moment to affirm ourselves. Tomorrow we got open foams, okay? Remember that. Let's take that deep breath in and let us release. Today, let me remember in the words of the great Nigerian musician, Fela Kuti, the secret of life is to have no fear. Until next time, Radio Free Family, one love.